Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. Technically, I'm on Lake Buena Vista and I wanted to come out here and show you the Crossroads Shopping Plaza right across the street from Disney Springs. This was built in 1988 by Disney and has a whole bunch of different restaurants, stores, and recently it's been announced that they're gonna be closing it. The state of Florida actually bought it and plan on using it to actually alleviate all of the congestion on I-4. So, let's go do this. It's so interesting seeing everyone driving into Disney Springs. It might be a little bit loud out here because there's a lot of traffic, but welcome to the most magical place on earth, Walt Disney World. It's really cool to actually get a great photo opportunity of these signs behind us, but it's actually kind of scary to cross this main street right here. Right across the street is the Crossroads Shopping Plaza and there are so many unique restaurants and businesses over here so it's going to be fun to see it. A lot of it is actually all closed down already. As you can see right behind us is the entrance to Walt Disney World and you would think a shopping center across the street from Disney World that place must be crazy busy but like I said right now it's basically abandoned. As you can see by the sign, Crossroads, Shopping, Dining, and Entertainment, and right behind it is actually I-4. Most of the restaurants, shops have stayed closed since the pandemic and never reopened. And all of the ones that are open now have to the end of their lease before they're going to eventually have to vacate. The state of Florida, like I said, bought this, and this is the biggest private, like, purchase that the state of florida has ever made and i think that's very interesting but there is a lot of history here and especially people that have visited the disney parks in the 80s and the 90s even in the 2000s i actually remember coming here all the time to gooding supermarket and getting food they have the pirates golf and a lot of like popular restaurants so it's kind of crazy to see these major chains just abandoned shut down and kind of overgrown one of the places that I always looked at when I was driving on I-4 was the Pirate's Cove, the original Adventure Golf, right here in the Crossroad Plaza. Now there is a lot of these locations all over the United States, but this one is going to have to close in August when the whole entire Crossroads shuts down. Even though I'm not golfing, they said I can look around and look at some of the cool things that they actually have displayed here because it is really awesome. And I like the shark. <laughs> Look at this amazing little photo opportunity. <laughs> I love how the inside of the shark's mouth is all bloody. That poor guy down there though. Someone get him out of the water. He's got a shark coming right after him. Another thing that I used to actually see when I was driving down I-4 is Johnny's Hideaway, this restaurant right behind me, and it is completely closed down and kind of overgrown and abandoned looking. Have you guys ever dined here before? I always wanted to and I'm never going to be able to, it looks like. I mean, I know that this is a part of a franchise, but I don't think there are multiple Johnny's Hideaways. Maybe there is, but I'm never going to be able to dine at this one. I'm going to walk around a little bit, see if we see anything on the doors. I like how they have a little outside area here. Very interesting. Oh yeah, look at this. Little patio seating, a fire pit. This is really, really nifty. This must have been like a water fountain here. It's crazy to think like Disney Springs is literally like a three minute walk that way. Oh wow, they have a whole entire outdoor like dining area with a lake view right over here. Wow, look at it over here. This is all outdoors. So like I'm not trespassing or anything like that. This is really interesting to see this like this. That must have been a bar area. The Tiki Deck is closed for a private function at this moment. Did they have tables with fire pits? So this is another entrance right there. I'm really sad. I would have loved to actually come here and uh, probably drink at the Tiki Bar. That would have been really fun, wouldn't it? Look at that view. Wow. 
This is amazing. We got the chalk is still written. So this place hasn't been open for about a year right now. Happy hours, 4.30 to 6.30. It's so strange to see this like this. I wonder if these restrooms are open. Restrooms closed. What's this say? It's like a seating chart. I can take a look-see. We can walk right out to the shopping plaza from here. That is so strange, isn't it? Did you just see something just land on the lens there? It was a little bug, it landed on the lens. I thought it was a smudge mark, but that's really cool, isn't it? Johnny's Hideaway, seafood, steaks, and stone crab, and it's just abandoned right now. That's so crazy. I really wish I actually got to dine here. I really, really, now that I've walked around like inside where they have the outdoor patio and stuff, that seems like such a cool place. Who knows, maybe they'll open another Johnny's Hideaway. And I will definitely go visit it then. But that was actually really interesting. Johnny's Hideaway is a part of a Talk of the Town restaurant group. And they own Charlie's Steakhouse and they own Fish Bones. And it's just kind of crazy to see it like closed like that because of like the, the area that we're in. I know that there's a pandemic going on, but Walt Disney World is right across the street, I-4. There's like so many popular restaurants and even some of the nationally recognized brands that actually are in the shopping plaza are closed and they're done. And anyone else has until August, so it's real cool to be able to see this like this. Some of the restaurants, like Sweet Tomatoes right here, have completely closed all of their locations. They're never gonna reopen back up. They're just done. And then we can take a look-see. We have another restaurant right here. This is TGI Fridays, and that is also shut down and closed. It just seems all dark and gloomy over here, doesn't it? So strange, and one of the most popular interstates is running right next to it. And eventually, this is gonna be an exit. Like, this is gonna come right through here, I think. I mean, that's it's pretty remarkable to think what's gonna happen in just about a year. I think that shark is gonna fall soon. Here's the TGI Fridays I was talking about. I see a bunch of bags on the benches here. Now, I don't think this actually reopened after the pandemic. They have blueprints actually just laying out right here. That is so crazy. Those are blueprints of the restaurant. And they got them just like sitting there. Everything else is kind of just shut down. Very interesting. Looks like they got some damage here. No sense of fixing it. One of the places that I've actually visited, probably the most in this whole entire shopping plaza, was Gooding Supermarket right here. And it's so crazy because now this is the last Goodings. They're done. This was it. They're closed forever, and I remember coming here so many times. I've been here with friends. I've gone from Disney Springs over here, and it was open 24 hours, and I always remember coming in here. So crazy. Right here, Gooding's 24-hour supermarket. One-hour photo as well. And you can take a look inside the doors. Everything's gone. The place is empty. Wow. I'd be so afraid if these doors opened and I walked near them. I used to think it was funny because they had carpet in the aisleways. And I used to be like, well, that's interesting. Such a sad thing right here. I really actually liked coming here. Another look on this side. Let's see. Look at that picture right there. I wonder what's going on with that. Maybe an employee's taking it home? It's a nice picture. See, they advertise some of the local businesses. The Pirate's Cove, which was <laughs> the first thing we looked at. And it's actually open now. 
until August. It's more the Pirate Cove. Oh wait, no, this is Johnny's, isn't it? Oh no, this is Red Lobster, yeah. Chevy's. These are all businesses actually in here. So strange. Some of the restaurants are open right now and they have until August, like I said. And maybe I'll get something to eat one of them. I gotta see which ones are open. I see Flippers, I see Fuddruckers. Never even have Fuddruckers and they're actually open. Noodles and Moe's. The Tom and Chi, they had a grilled cheese restaurant here. I think that's closed though. We'll take a peek see. You can see Flippers is actually still open. And then, what's on this side right here? Moe's. Oh, they're done. Moe's is closed. We got a ladder right here. I wonder what happened in there. Noodles. Looks like they're open. I've never eaten at a Noodles. I hear it's very good though. And then, the Tom and Chi. Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Home of the grilled cheese donut. Permanently closed. Thank you, Orlando, for your support. Well, that is super sad. They also have a Fuddruckers here. I've never dined at a Fuddruckers, and I know that there's multiple locations, so I'm probably not gonna get anything from there, but it says world's greatest hamburgers. I always thought this was like a sit-down restaurant, but it's kind of like a Five Guys. I've never eaten here before, or actually never even been inside a Fuddruckers. Now hiring. Well, they're gonna stay open until August, so they've got at least a summer, and then no mask, no service. 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Kind of crazy. Now I'm thinking maybe I should eat at Fuddruckers. I mean, honestly, the restaurant in the chain itself is actually not doing too well. So if I don't do it now, when's if they actually close forever and then I can, I'll never be able to know what Fuddruckers is like. So let's do it, let's do it now. We can take a look at the menu here. Looks like they have the world's greatest hamburgers, like it says on the side, and you get a small, medium, or large. They even have some exotics. A Kobe burger, a bison burger, an elk burger, and then they have all of the other fixings. Bacon, avocado, mushrooms, onions, eggs. This is gonna be, this is like a five guys. I'm actually really excited for this now. It says that they actually bake their buns in their kitchens every day. And I thought that was interesting because when I first walked in, I was like, wow, it smells like amazing dinner rolls in here. And it really does. So that's going to be interesting. I'm very excited. They uh, grill the burgers to order. They make bread daily. This sounds like a really awesome place. This is actually a really fun atmosphere for a restaurant. I really like it. They have like an Elvis Presley section, a Marilyn Monroe, a Beatles section. And like I said, it smells amazing in here with those baked oven fresh rolls. Like I can't get over how amazing it smells. Speaking of the baked oven fresh rolls, take a look right there. Maybe that's why, because they're just right there baking. Oh, it smells so good. I think we'll sit in the Beatles booth. That sounds funny, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's take a seat in the Beatles booth. Hi, sir. Hello. All right. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Wow, look at that, guys. Holy moly. This looks really, really good. And I'm excited because it says world's greatest hamburger. So I'm going to see what it lives up to the expectation here because that's, that's a pretty big claim. I went with the bourbon burger with sweet potato fries and it has a sweet bourbon sauce, bacon, and caramelized onions and then this is the bun right here and it says freshest buns in town. Well, you look at that. I guess we're going to find out here. Well, I got to say it might not have been the best hamburger, but it definitely had the best hamburger bun I've ever had. 
How fancy is that? They were right about one thing. I mean, the burger was like, okay, it was just a regular burger, but the buns were phenomenal. That was the best thing, honestly. If you guys have ever eaten here, let me know in the comments, because like, I know these have been a popular restaurant uh, a long time ago, and I looked up to see how many were still around, and under 50 corporate locations uh, are actually still around and operating. So that's kind of like a low, low number. There's a good chance that they might close forever. And I'm glad that I came here and tried it because now I at least say I, I got to eat here. You know, things like that I always think about. Like, when's if you're never gonna get it, the chance to eat someplace before? Because I see a lot of places. Big Boys, gone. I love that though. Love Big Boys. Anywho, I think we're gonna actually get going here. It's a very good burger though. Just not the world's greatest. Definitely the world's greatest bun though. I got super excited because as I was leaving, I noticed all the lights for Johnny's turned on. I thought maybe the restaurant's going to be opening back up, but looks like it's just the sensors that turned them on. They even had the patio lights on. Well, that's kind of kind of cool. But now you can see Disney Springs is straight ahead. Look at that. All of this here. It's all going to be gone soon. Before we finish up, I want to show you one of my favorite gas stations right across the street from the Crossroads Shopping Center, Second City. And this place has some unique decorations. For a gas station, I think it's pretty amazing. This is what I'm talking about, Second City. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before, but I absolutely love it in here. It is really unique. Look at these guys up there. How fancy is that? <laughs> this one, it's got a map of Florida in his pocket. Looks like he's spilling some wine and he's got some cheese. <laughs> then he got a couple more over here. This is by <laughs> the pizza shop. Look at the second city pizzeria. There's a chef right there. And then the police captain. Looks like he's got a turkey leg. So that's gonna do it for me. I know it's a little weird kind of vlog to end with uh, a random second city gas station, but I really like it in there. And I ran into my friend Ben, and uh, it was real cool just chit chat for a second. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.